Bob Marley had it right. What goes around comes around. It also describes what's happening with flywheel energy storage these days. After a wave of breakthroughs in material, magnetic bearing control, and power electronics, the technology is making a comeback. Let's dive deep in the return of flywheel batteries into the energy market and how this advanced technology storage solution outperforms the battery packs that come in your Teslas in every way. Stay till the end of the video to find out what makes these batteries far superior to those we're used to. Of course, scientific technology Technological progress alone isn't enough to reignite interest in technology, no matter how brilliant it is. Advanced witchcraft must also fulfill a genuine need. Flywheel batteries, which store energy by rotating a mass, shine in both areas. They represent a number of important scientific advancements and are serious candidates for a lot of major energy storage applications. Did you know? Despite its reputation as the next big thing in energy storage, the flywheel is actually a somewhat ancient technology. Flywheel energy storage technologies, which were first employed in potter wheels and subsequently widely used in engines and machines throughout the Industrial Revolution in the UK, are a clean and effective means of balancing supply and demand in energy grids, especially when using renewable energy sources. They're going to be crucial in the transition to a more sustainable electrical power grid, and here's how. Flywheel energy storage devices are a clever way to store kinetic energy as well as electricity in its most basic form. The flywheel is a mechanical battery. It works by accelerating a rotor at a high speed using electricity, then converting the electrical energy into rotational energy and storing it. The energy is then collected by slowing the flywheel, which transforms the kinetic energy back into electrical energy, which can be delivered to wherever it's needed. Flywheel technology is a greener alternative to chemical batteries that could be used to overcome the limits of renewable energy sources that are getting more and more expensive and are going to run out pretty soon. Flywheels are the future of energy storage solutions, extending beyond just batteries. It has an extremely low maintenance and a very long lifespan when compared to other energy methods such as chemical batteries. Another major reason flywheel technology is attractive is that it has no degradation over time, allowing for infinite daily cycling without the negative side effects commonly associated with electrochemical storage, such as those seen in Tesla battery packs. Flywheel energy storage methods have a round-trip efficiency of greater than 85%. In other words, the proportion of electricity stored is eventually recovered. Furthermore, unlike chemical batteries, they aren't influenced by temperature changes and can work from minus 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. The diversified needs of today's energy market necessitate technology like this that can handle unpredictable weather patterns and environmental disasters, as well as rolling power outages and obsolete power transmission networks. With the UK expecting to raise its capacity for offshore wind generation to 40 gigawatts by 2030, storage is required to integrate that energy resource and deliver it to the sorts of facilities traditionally provided by conventional power stations. To achieve decarbonization, Intermittent renewable power sources must be combined with zero-carbon long-duration energy storage devices to collect and distribute a steady supply of electricity to the grid. Amber Kinetics, the market leader in grid-scale kinetic energy storage systems KESS, has the answer. Amber Kinetics has built a flywheel to satisfy the energy storage demands of the modern grid at a lower cost and greater efficiency than gas peakers or pumped hydro as the only provider of a long-duration flywheel energy storage solution. Most notably, Amber Kinetics has increased the efficiency and duration of flywheels from minutes to hours, resulting in safe, cost-effective, and dependable energy storage. The Amber Kinetics M32 is the first commercialized kinetic energy storage system with a four-hour discharge period. Their advanced flywheel technology stores 32 kilowatt-hours of energy in a two-ton steel rotor, powering it. Individual flywheels can also be scaled up to tens or even hundreds of megawatts for grid-connected or grid-forming applications when gathered together, comparable to solar panels. Capturing and unloading extra renewable production during off-peak hours will also allow energy providers to meet Renewable Portfolio Standard, or RPS, goals while avoiding costly transmission and distribution, or T&D, improvements and expenditures, with savings passed on to the customers. High-power flywheel operation is based on advancements in power electronics, notably in high-power insulated gate bipolar transistors, or IGBTs, and field effect transistors, or FETs. While the wheel's speed, mass, and shape influence the stored energy, the power electronics in general establish the restrictions on input and output power. Because fewer individual components are required with these high-power devices, 
the Power Electronics package can be equivalent in size to the flywheel plus motor generator combo. Advances in fibers, resins, composite production processes, and manufacturing quality control all contribute to the increasing density of energy storage. Together, they've created the opportunity to build flywheels that can run effortlessly at high speeds. U.S. Flywheel Systems, located in Pasadena, has even used such advancements to run a composite flywheel at 60,000 RPM with a rim speed of around 1 km per second. In addition, the University of Texas at Austin has put a composite flywheel spinning at roughly 48,000 RPM through more than 90,000 charge-discharge cycles with no loss of function. The demand to store electric energy is expanding in a more electronic environment, both to help enhance power quality and to allow distributed generation. The majority of plans achieving those objectives involve storing energy close to the load, which, as will be seen, makes flywheel batteries ideal candidates for the task. One of the most exciting applications of this technology is space travel. Flywheel batteries should also find a place in spacecraft, particularly those in orbit around the Earth. Because the Sun is the primary energy source in Earth's orbit, energy must be saved for the instances when the satellite is in darkness. The International Space Station is another application where energy storage is a real concern. The Sun is the station's major power source, but it must remain operational during an eclipse. The initial approach depends on battery storage, but NASA is working on a new approach. On the space station, the flywheel battery has characteristics that make it attractive. It takes up the same amount of area and weight as the chemical batteries it would replace, yet it appears to last 3 to 10 times longer. Plus, it can keep a load running for twice as long as a chemical battery without needing to be recharged. Finally, the flywheel battery's status of charge can always be determined by measuring its rotational velocity. Each NASA flywheel device can store more than 15 megajoules and deliver more than 4.1 kilowatts of peak power. It will require 48 flywheels, capable of producing more than 150 kilowatts to replace all of the battery boxes. NASA estimates that replacing the first generation of space station batteries with flywheels could save more than $200 million. In the automobile industry, hybrid electric vehicles, or HEVs, are being used to minimize emissions and extend the use of hydrocarbon fuels. The cars are powered by both an internal combustion engine and an electric motor. The basic idea is that the engine will provide the majority of the power required to drive the vehicle, allowing it to operate at a nearly constant, optimal speed, decreasing fuel consumption, air and noise pollution, and engine maintenance costs while also prolonging engine life. In this instance, short bursts of electricity are drawn from an energy store with some kind of battery, which is recharged immediately by the engine or by regenerative braking when the vehicle is slowed down. Regenerative braking, unlike friction brakes, converts kinetic energy into electricity, which is then utilized to accelerate the flywheel, thereby storing more energy for further acceleration. Reversing the motor drive circuitry allows the drive motors to serve as generators, which completes the conversion. A flywheel battery should be a more appealing energy storage option than a chemical battery for various reasons. It has a longer life, is free of depth of discharge effects, and can take and deliver huge amounts of energy in a short length of time. Given the plethora of electrically powered subsystems visualized for hybrid and fully electric cars, electric power is also a crucial enabling technology for many future combat vehicles. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, future combat vehicles are expected to include electric propulsion and suspension, communications, weaponry, and defense systems. Other power-averaging energy storage components, such as flywheels and supercapacitors, will supply both continuous and pulsed power for the different systems on the vehicle. Distribution networks, subsystem controls, and power conditioning devices that will make up the electric power system. But maybe they'll stick to hybrid electric systems before moving to fully electric military vehicles. This method promises to extend the life of the system by running the main power sources at relatively constant power levels. Because the primary power units are only sized for average power requirements, the overall vehicle weight is reduced. The way it'll work is that flywheel batteries would first charge a bank of supercapacitors, which would then power the high-speed systems for combat systems that require power in less than around 10 seconds. Flywheel batteries might also be used to launch aircraft from ships. The U.S. Navy is working on electromagnetic systems that would use flywheels instead of steam accumulators, allowing the power-generating system to be designed for the peak power load. Flywheel batteries are clearly a new technology. Commercial versions are now available for a limited number of applications, but ongoing research and development might lead to considerably wider use. 
Let us know in the comments what you think about flywheel batteries and whether or not you think they're important for our electric future.